I should have started my vlog yesterday, but I didn't. Sorry about that. But today, I just spent the night in Biloxi, Mississippi, where cruising the coast is just starting to kick off. So let me show you a few of the cars around my parking lot at the hotel. What's up everybody, it's your boy Ziggy. Check out this 65 here. At least I'm guessing it's a 65, I'm not up to date. I know the 66s and 67s, I think this is a 65, but I'm not 100% positive. Very nice. And look at my poor truck. When I was in Opelousas, I went out exploring and got her very, very dirty. But it rained pretty hard last night. So you can see that actually a lot of the dirt got washed off during the heavy rain. I didn't even hear the rain, but I heard the thunder. So yeah, now we're starting on the big trip. Today I'm driving from Biloxi, Mississippi to Commerce, Georgia. But first, I'm going to drive us around the parking lot here, around the back side of the hotel, to see if there's any more cars back there that we need to check out. I think there probably are. check it out you know we did see a couple of trailers which means there's probably a couple of real nice things and I hope the video of the woody that was driving by comes out I was actually driving so I wasn't able to zoom in and get some good footage of it but uh, yeah it looked good and it sounded good and the 69 Chevelle had already left by the time I finished packing up out of my room I wanted to get a good video of him cranking up because I was there when he drove in and parked last night and oh it sounded so sweet I have no idea what's in it it did say SS 396 so I'm gonna guess it was a big block but oh it sounded so sweet and let's change lanes because there's somebody with a boat coming out but it looks like he's just fast enough to where I've changed lanes for no reason so let's change back because I'm driving 65 why am I driving 65 well I'll tell you but first there's a little too much glare so I'm gonna put on my sunglasses okay so um, yesterday was a big day I went to Bull and Carlos place and ate an obscene amount of chili followed by two helpings of tuxedo chocolate mousse cake from uh, Costco and Carla made an excellent chili and uh, the chocolate mousse was excellent also and they were nice enough to let me do my laundry while I was there so now I got all my laundry done for at least a week 
okay and so I left their place went straight to the Murphy Express to top off my tank with my fuel savings from gas buddy y'all should check that out my friend Vern who I was hauling campers with five years ago turned me on to gas buddy and that was to find fuel and it works excellent I'm always able to find the cheapest fuel available and you know those pennies are important when you're on a budget like your boy and uh, they solicited me all right so I hit a bump and the camera slid down the dash but it's back now but that was probably uh, a reminder for me to let you see what's going on outside of my truck right now as you can see I'm the only one doing anywhere near 65 everybody else is gonna be going quite a bit faster and they're all passing me but here's the marshland as I'm approaching Pascagoula you can see the shipyards in the distance there maybe I don't know I'm driving so it's kind of hard to um, zoom in on it so I'm not gonna try that okay so I'm gonna try putting this on the dash again all right looks like it might be shaking I hope not anyhow gas buddy my friend Vern turned me on to it and I saved quite a bit of money by going to the um, locations that gas buddy told me was the cheapest and most of the time it was correct sometimes it was not but I don't know if that's gas buddy's fault it's only as good as the reporting of the people that use it so if the gas price hadn't been reported in a while chances are the station has raised their price because they got a new shipment of fuel in or for whatever reason they're going to raise the prices so then i started getting solicitations from gas buddy to get their fuel card and save money you know i really hope i'm getting all this down because the camera keeps turning off and then when I turn it back on it gives me a message about uh, don't remove the memory card and you might have a small chance of recovering the data so we'll see anyhow I went ahead and got the gas buddy card and married it to my debit card so the money actually comes from my debit card the gas buddy card is just something that you swipe instead of your debit card and it gives you the gas buddy discount and so far i have saved a dollar 56. that's right 96 cents the first time and then 60 cents the second time and lovely pascagoula more accurately that part is Moss Point okay so I saved a dollar 56 and then I hit the road 65 mile an hour on the cruise control the entire way to Biloxi except for the small part where I went along highway 90 along the beach so that I could try to see some cars which I saw some, but it was already dark, so I wasn't able to enjoy them as much as I should have. But uh, the highest that I saw along the road was 33.8 miles per gallon. That's right, in a full-size pickup truck, 33.8 miles per gallon. And then when I got down to the beach road and the speed limit was 45, it actually went over 34 for a while. And I just started my trip this morning, the second day of my big journey. 
and right now it's showing 33.1 and the instant readout is showing 32 33 32 so yeah I, I should be getting about 32 miles per gallon right now but we're not gonna find out what the real mileage is until I fuel up and do the calculations by hand but it was pretty darn accurate uh, on this last fill up at the Murphy Express on the corner of Ambassador and Cameron Lafayette Louisiana where I got four cents per gallon discount by using my gas buddy card new text message from Dave Hughes okay I think you probably heard that I was on my way to the Camel Dave headquarters in Morganton North Carolina to co-host his show on Tuesday but he messaged me a few minutes ago telling me that things came up and we would have to not do the show so now I just got another text from him and he said rain forecast all week not gonna be good for golf course well dang it I guess I'm not gonna be playing any disc golf there oh shucks okay let's get back to the map here all right so the big trip I left Lafayette yesterday afternoon after the Saints lost to the Giants in overtime <sighs> yes and I did chastise my hosts for inviting me over for such a crap game they better do better next time okay so I left and my first stop was Biloxi I was trying to get to Lumberton to play the disc golf course where they had the big rip over the past three days where my boy Josh Patin brought home second place he was first after the first round after getting an ace and setting a new course record yes an Opelousas boy Josh Patin is the record holder for the course at Lumberton Mississippi uh, I think the name is Eagles Landing I'm not positive about that but yes and he lost overall he won the first round then the second round he went down four strokes to Cameron Coldglazier and then he made up another two points but it just wasn't enough to take home the first place trophy but he did get second and only the likes of Cameron Coldglazier could beat him Cameron Coldglazier is a pretty darn good disc golfer he actually has been known to beat Matty O every once in a while Matty O who's that Matthew Orem son of Jim Orem and he's having a really good year this year on the pro circuit and I was gonna do that course but I couldn't get anywhere close to that I even tried emailing the campground where it was actually held but they have not gotten back to me yet so I couldn't get there and it's like I couldn't find a hotel anywhere near Lumberton Mississippi the closest would have been Wiggins but they were charging those high Hurricane Ida prices there so uh, somehow I ended up getting off cheaper in Biloxi at only $77 and the best Western there was really good not without its hiccups though because the clerk assigned me a room and I got there and housekeeping hadn't fixed up the room since the last tenant was in there both beds were messed up the uh, trash hadn't been emptied and the door wasn't even fully closed so I went back down and she gave me a, a different room and the second room was perfect it was uh, nice the the AC was turned on for me um, 
the bed was okay, the pillows were okay, the, the uh, comforter, if you want to call it that, was okay, and the Wi-Fi worked well, I was able to do whatever I needed to do, mostly LS2. Um, and I could see some of the cars out my window, but of course the window was fogged up because the humidity was just crazy. for another Best Western. Let's see, the one last night was Best Western Cypress Creek in Biloxi. And, uh, well, the, uh, the breakfast wasn't much to speak of. They had the uh, microwavable biscuits with sausage, and the biscuits was more like tiny buns than actual biscuits. And they had cereal and uh, the instant... Oh, shucks, that's a spammer. We ain't talking to spammers today. Some California number, so who knows. Okay, so the, the breakfast wasn't much, and the coffee, I haven't even tried tasting the coffee yet. But I don't... Oh, I just crossed into Alabama. Nice. I guess this is the time for me to say hi to my boy Frank in Mobile. Yeah, we went to high school together. He now lives in Mobile. And um, when I came here to play a disc golf tournament, I uh, sent him a message about uh, coming, coming over and staying with him while I was in the area. And I, I couldn't believe the nerve of the guy. He's actually going to take care of his kids before taking care of me. You know, what, uh, what can I say? So, here we are, Alabama, and that means, yeah, the next state is Georgia, where I'll be staying at the Best Western Commerce Inn in Commerce, Georgia. I, I really wanted to get through Atlanta today because I didn't want to tackle that in the morning. And it looks like, according to my GPS, like I'll be getting to Atlanta just in time for rush hour. So I may have to find some place to just mess around and, you know, kill a, an hour or two. But Atlanta traffic is always horrible. So I don't know if it would even make any difference. So back to the big trip. Whew. Getting off on all kind of tangents. I guess there's just too much to cover. Okay, left Lafayette. I'm heading for Willow Grove, Pennsylvania, just outside of Philadelphia, to pick up a trailer to deliver to my boy James in San Diego. Well, not actually San Diego, but close enough. And then after that, I have to decide if I'm coming home since... I'm homeless and I don't really have anywhere to go uh, if, if I'm gonna head home for Louisiana or just mess around because I mean I'll be out in the great wild west and I don't know if I'll be able to find any BLM that's Bureau of Land Management lands to camp on on the way to California I'll have to do some searching on my new The Dirt app and see if I can find some places to stay for free along the way. I, I do have a couple of beds lined up along the way with Adam in the Philadelphia area and maybe with Rick, my musical director in West Virginia. Uh, he, he for, we for sure are going to meet up. But I don't know, I mean, he's got like a dozen kids, so I just don't know if there's any room for me. But if there is, I'll be glad to stay a night there. 
and then continue along the way going through let's see if I can remember some places st. Louis Springfield um, Oklahoma City Albuquerque oh and when I get to Arizona instead of uh, going the route that would make the most sense there's one route that I've discovered while trucking that goes through the Indian Reservation and through the mountain gorge there and it's a beautiful drive and I'll be sure to get some video of that because that's you know it, it's really beautiful this is where uh, I really want to go if I can hack riding a motorcycle long distances I really want to get a drone and get some video of that of me riding that area I think that would be really really nice but that's up to you to decide anyhow I'll just drive for a little while here weather that just came through and it's like running parallel to I-65 which is the highway that I'm on right now and there's another one behind it so it's like I'm in the eye of the hurricane right now waiting for the second wave to come through but I may be out of the way by the time it gets here who knows but it's not a good day for video and I'll just highlight the things that I find that I think are going to be interesting. Of course, what's interesting to me might not be what's interesting to you. Mobile River. a lot of motion uh, I hope I didn't get you car sick but this is uh, pretty much what I'm gonna be looking at for the next at least couple of hours Chafalaya Basin. So I just stopped at the Circle K to get my 89 cent drink and use the facilities and the downpour started. It's crazy. just a few drops all the way over here and then as soon as I exit the vehicle this starts <sighs> well at least my truck's going to be getting cleaned up a little bit so in Montgomery rain started coming down really hard and now it has stopped already and it looks like the sun is trying to come out so time to restart my trip here we go
upgraded. I'm not sure, but uh, I heard her explain to the people that were ahead of me that they only had the pet friendly rooms in the requested rooms. So they got upgraded to a king suite and I think she did the same for me. Because this is a king suite and it's pretty nice. Hold up. I, I'm fresh out of the shower, I'm all clean. I decided to forego my diet. Shame on me, I haven't been sticking with my diet well at all since I sold the house. But I went to grab some food and this is what I got. I haven't had this in over a decade. And the store was right next door, so I had to get it. Now, carry on. We'll see how I sleep. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can get Ziggy with it.